All right, hello tigers. Tonight we're going to read the next folk tale in our folk tales from China storybook. And tonight's story is called Fishing for the Moon. And this is a pretty short little story, but we'll read it tonight anyways. So Fishing for the Moon. Long ago in ancient China, there lived a silly young man named Cho. One evening he carried his wooden bucket to the well near his home. He was gathering water for his nighttime tea. As he walked along, he sang happy ballads to entertain himself. Cho lowered the bucket into the deep hollow of the well. As he pulled it out, he saw the reflection of the moon floating on the water. Oh dear, cried Cho, what has called, caused the golden moon to fall from the heavens into my well? The answer he got was the humming of insects in the grass and the howling of the wolves in the hills. Since he received no answer, Cho answered himself. I do, do believe that the rain last night washed the moon right out of the sky. It's my duty to put it back. He raced back to his house where he found his fishing gear. He hurried back to the well and lowered the hook into the water. Do not fear, he said to the moon. I shall catch you and return you to your rightful place in the sky. He sang cheerfully as he moved the pole back and forth. Suddenly, the hook snagged on something in the water. Cho, thinking he had caught the moon, pulled and tugged, tugged and pulled. With a loud crack, the rope broke. Cho fell. Oh my, groaned Cho, that moon is much heavier than I had expected. Then Cho looked up into the sky and saw the bright golden moon in its proper place. Cho leapt to his feet, pointing at the sky and bragging, Look, I've done it. I caught the moon and tossed it back. Insects, you can stop your sad humming. Wolves, you can stop your sorrowful howling. The beautiful moon is back. Singing with joy, joy, Cho walked home, proud of the deed he had done. All right, and that is tonight's folktale, Tigers. I warned you, it's a short one. I still haven't figured out who gave me this cute little book. All right, have a good night, Tigers. I'll see you in the morning.